Hey friends, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions. I wanted to share a tip, I hope it's quick, on sharing your libraries and toolbars with between your laptop and desktop and other users. So let's get started. First of all, to your libraries and uh, toolbars are all found in your folders directories, if you will, under the Chief Architect Preferences. If you're on a PC, you'll go to the Edit menu up here, and down at the very bottom is uh, Preferences. If you're on the Mac, like I am, go to Chief Architect and Preferences. That will pull up this dialog box and click on Folders tab on the left, Folders pane. And here is typically where, by default, Chief Architect will put it on the Mac. It'll put it in your Documents folder on a PC that's called My Documents. And after that is Chief Architect Premier X12 data. Now, of course, I'm using Chief Architect Premier, so that's what it's going to name it. I am not familiar with the other versions of Chief Architect. Um, so I'm assuming it would do Chief Architect Interiors X12 data, uh, something like that. So if you click on the Browse, that's where it will pop up. Okay, that, And then you can select any location on your hard drive to uh, find this information. So we've got Archives, uh, backdrops, database libraries, your hotkeys, images, um, and I'm not sure why Chief has created these backup um, folders. I've got several backup folders, and I've also got duplicates in the database library. So I've got archives and duplicates of the archives and backdrops, and even duplicates of the database library. So I believe straight out of the out of the box there will be database libraries and then you will just see trash.calib and user, user underscore library.calib in that folder. You wouldn't see these folders, I don't believe, in the database libraries. So I'm going to cancel that. Temporary folders, that's where you get your undo and redo. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what all of this is. Undo folder system system library database folder um, and then that would be I believe the system library database folder would be where you find let's get back to that I'm going to browse there so you get your bonus libraries, your core libraries your manufacturer libraries etc all of that would be uh, in the in the uh, chief Arc in, on this is for the Mac again. I don't know what a PC what folder that would be under the PC, but something like that library application support chief architect premier X12. Um, it would be great if that could be shared on a Dropbox on a cloud sharing folder. Um, I don't know what this program data is, etc. So you could copy that Premier X12 to a uh, cloud sharing. And then if you want to see all the program paths, you can click on Show here. So you can see all of them, number tables, database, libraries. Um, there's the folder, the file. template folder. Uh, if you want to see that folder, you can just click this button here, Show in Finder. I'm assuming the PC would have that option as well. All right, so switching to my file browser, or my Finder on my Mac, I have, I thought I had two windows. There we go. So what I've done uh, 
if you're sharing w between like a laptop and desktop on Dropbox, I've done this myself when I was a one-man show. Um, I copied the database libraries over to a cloud version. This is our cloud version. We use OneDrive now, and I have uh, there's five, of, four or five of us now using Chief Architect, which I'll show you in a minute doesn't work really well, and I'll show you why. But for one man, that works okay. One person, that works fine. I found with Dropbox. I have not used Dropbox with multiple people, but I'll show you why I don't think it does work. Um, anyway, I have to. I do. Let me put a caveat with that. I do have to check this with Chief Architect to make sure I'm thinking of it correctly. But anyway, um, so I copied the toolbars uh, folder, and you could copy templates or relocate your templates uh, directory in the database libraries, particularly user library, is what you want. So I copied that over to a folder on the OneDrive called database libraries and toolbars. I tried manufacturer libraries, but that, that didn't work as I thought it would because I don't have a place without setting the core libraries here for the whole system library database folder. Um, I didn't want to change this yet. And I think I'm glad I I'm glad I didn't. So the way this works is we've got the cloud service, whether that's Dropbox, OneDrive, or Google Drive, that your files reside up here, but that software is syncing and making sure the files go to the hard drive of the user, of each user. Then if there's a change here, it will sync this up and propagate all to all of the other users that may be sharing that, that folder. So when user number one changes the uh, library, adds to the library in Chief Architect, and closes Chief Architect, when Chief Architect closes, that's the trigger to save the library, the user library.calib, and syncs up to here. But let's say user two also changed it, user library, in a different way, right? Now, this service says, wait a second, there's two different versions here of the user library. And what it does, at least what it did on mine, was it created user library 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and would often give us errors when... Um, when we're trying, when we're trying to add to the library, for some reason, Chief would recognize that something was wrong, and and OneDrive had synced up, and it just it was a mess to such a point that I woke up last week and I had nothing in my user library. Over 18 years of saving uh, custom objects, notes textures, etc, etc, etc. Zilch. My user library was completely empty. Thank goodness I was able to get it back, but uh, I had I had a major panic last week. Um, now when user 1 and user 2 are the same person and you've got laptop and desktop here, and I've, I only had one license, um, so when I close down Chief Architect, this would sync up to my lap, up to the drive, down back to my desktop, and I was fine. Switch from desktop, sync back to laptop, and we're all good. That worked. Not when it's a multi-user situation. 
let me show you the files in the uh, database libraries. And this may be where my version of the migrate backups, etc., are coming from. Um, there's all the trash situations and the user libraries. Uh, you can see why there was problems going on with sharing this on OneDrive. I would be curious if you're using Dropbox and you don't get this with a multi-user situation, let me know. But this is what we've got here. So to combat that, what we are going to have to do is I've switched it back to everybody's library is on their hard drive, not pulling from OneDrive. If someone updates the library, adds to the library, changes the library, wants to share that with everyone, we will then uh, copy it to the shared folder and the users will then have to download that and overwrite, choose to overwrite their library on their hard drive. And then they will get the updated um, objects in the library. Got any questions? Um, I'm not sure I've got answers with this one, but uh, we can talk through it anyway. Drop me a line. As always, like, subscribe, share. Um, hope to talk to you again soon. Take care.